All right, so we'll come hot out the gate with uh, this announcement. Um, Terra Onion, uh, a um, company, I suppose. <laughs> uh, never heard of them until yesterday uh, or two days ago. Came out with an item called the Mega SD. Um, the Mega SD is, if it does what it says, this thing is impressive. Um, so it's an FPGA on a cartridge, essentially. This is a flash cart that you can use on your Genesis for not just Genesis ROMs. It'll also do Master System ROMs. It'll okay. do Game Gear ROMs. Okay, okay. But it will also do 32X and Sega CD. Okay. That's wild. Because then at that point, you're it's not just you know ROMs that like a flash cart. It's now building in coding to order to interpret and add on the functionality of hardware to the Sega Genesis yep. through the cartridge. That's where it's impressive. Yep. Exactly. So, and we spoke about them before, by the way, did we, the super CD system three. Oh, that's them. Okay. So yeah. they've got, okay. So they've got some background here and the super CD system three was well reviewed. Um, so this is, I think it's my buddy actually ordered one the minute they got put up. Um, I think it's like two eighty five shipped is what he said it Woo! is and i believe they ship in august but yeah this is pretty incredible for the um price I, you you can have that's a big saving um you know for a, a good working condition sega cd um you're looking at probably about Let's 200 right now well, this is how they advertise it. Really, two hundred dollars for a working one? It's gone up. For a, uh, maybe not a Model Two. Model One though is definitely. It, it about used to be about hundred, hundred and twenty, yep, something like that. Not for anymore. Um, the, they advertise that the ultimate accessory for Genesis slash Mega Drive complete FPGA rec recreation of the entire Mega CD slash Sega CD hardware into a plug and play cartridge. Again, you're basically adding on the hardware on a cartridge, the coding, so to speak. So plays both ISOs, bin plus Q, and ROMs. Uh, RAM-based cartridge for instant boot. That's good. We don't get that load-up screen. I want the load-up screen. Man, I want to hear that if it's a load-up screen. Uh, compatible with all original region-free patch Mega CD slash Sega CD BIOS. Okay, you probably got to supply, supply your own BIOS. Uh, is that what that's saying right there? Mm -hmm. uh, supports Mega Drive, Sega CD, Mega CD, Master System, and 32X games. Requires a 32X add-on, though, Ian, it says. So you're going to have to plug that, plug the, the this FPGA cart into the uh, 32X. So it's not actually coding that in uh, there uh, entirely. Uh, looks like um, compatible with the analog Mega SG. That's good. Save states. So you get the all the emulation stuff, uh, emulation quality you want. There's an uh, interface for navigating your collection with screenshots, genre, year, and description. So, again, that's stuff you can get with uh, well, some flashcards have that. You don't huh? need, it doesn't look like you need to provide your own BIOS. Oh, I'm just I'm looking at... Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. So it's compatible with all original region-free patch. Yeah, so any of I'm the I'm not ones, sure what that means. I, I think um, it's just... any Like, for instance, if I load up my flashcard now, I can load up different BIOSes for Sega CD. Okay, so if you want so, to get the different yeah. load-up language for 1.1 1 .1 or whatever um okay so this is going to use a, a micro sd card it supports up to a 400 gig which you're going to need potentially if you want all those sega cd games on because they're not small you know once you get into cd stuff you're talking these games probably be anywhere from from 400 to 700 you know uh megabytes and then there's sega cd games that have two or three starting with four um so at that point no uh, Scotty Pippen, I think that I think Slam City is four discs. The thirty-two X version of it? Oh, uh, just the regular one. Okay. Um. Yeah. Now think about it. I think the the Night Trap thirty-two X one is got a couple. Anyway, so here's the point: is that four hundred gig? Yeah, you wouldn't need that for just a Genesis library. Well, now you're, if you if you want everything, every Sega CD game, you're gonna need that four hundred gigs. It's gonna add up uh, pretty quickly uh, there. So, um, yeah. And then, it, oh, enhanced Mega uh, Drive uh, games with CD audio. That's really, really nice as well. Then I think I, I think I saw something about the, the, you also get the um, the uh, the enhanced uh, Master System sound. I think I, I saw that as yeah, well. Yeah, it's in there. Um, from, yeah, the, from the Japanese from one, which you didn't get here. So 232, uh, is that euros or pounds there? Do euros, the, I think. Do the he, heroes? Euros. 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 I want a euro right now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but so 
this uh, this will sell pretty well. I can picture this being a good combination to the uh, the analog uh, Mega SG. Yep. You know, at that point, you're spending four hundred and seventy five bucks. Uh, but at that point, you should be you should be pretty yeah. But much you wouldn't set. really need anything else either. No, the only the only bad part is you know again it, it's a lot more difficult to find the ISO. I mean, I haven't looked lately, but. You know, you can download all the, the Genesis ROMs probably fairly easily, even if you want to just pick and choose certain ones. But I'm sure most people that get this will b want probably everything loaded up sure. on it. Or, or uh, like 50 Sega CD games. And then you got to go out and find a torrent or find a site that has the ISOs and download them. And that's going to take a bit more time than downloading. You know, you can download every Sega Genesis ROM in like probably, you know, 10 minutes on a decent, you know, uh, connection. Found them. You, know, you found them? Yeah. You found all the ISOs? Yeah, Sega CD ISOs. Hey, one, well, don't, one, don't, don't say the website. Don't get one, us in trouble. One, one second. <laughs> okay. Well, there you go. So I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Allegedly, <laughs> of course, you got to own all the original. Well, yes. So of course, only, yeah. You can, only play, you can only play backups. Wink. So uh, are you excited, Ian, for this? Yeah. Um, I'm looking forward to checking it out in August when the, when my friends ships. And again, yeah, uh, your let's see, was that it's two hundred sixty U.S. dollars if that's euros? He said it was two eighty something shipped. Oh, right shipped. Here. So it cost twenty bucks shipped. Okay, yeah. it makes sense. All right, and then yeah, I think that was euros, not pounds. I always get this. The euro has an e in it. It's the euro. Yeah. Okay. It has a pound. E. A pound is like a, a weird squiggly it's a thing. Squiggly l. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I wish I knew what I was talking about. It's the sterling. The pound sterling. Uh. So, uh, yeah, anything else to add? Did I did I just cover most of the stuff here? Yeah, we did. It's supposed to be your topic. I, I talked about it, and then you ran with it. I, I ran with I, I I spiked the ball. We got it. But but the interesting thing about this is if, if this could uh, be applied in the future in order to emulate other CD-based systems like they did with the Super... Like, well, they, they they're did. doing it. Yeah. The Super CD System 3, which I don't know if you know anyone who ever got that. Uh, it's out of stock right now, actually. The Super CD System 3. That came out, I think we talked about it last year uh, there. I know someone online who got it, and they said it was very, very good. And they also, have for, they have a, well, they have a Neo, they, they also have MVS uh, flash cartridge, uh, which was the first one. So they're doing good stuff. The Terra Onion. Interesting name. Sounds like a hearty meal, something. Like earthy onion. Wait, something, something you find at the Outback? Yeah. Get our blooming onions. Yeah, I'm the Terra Onion at the Outback. <laughs> Oh, they always boy. get guys that do an Australian accent, but they don't get real Australians to do those commercials for like Outback Steakhouse. Sorry, that's a pet peeve of mine. Anyway, okay. Uh, so, all right. So, I look forward to uh, Ian's uh, Ian's review of this maybe in uh, Wednesday or, or September. That'll be Ian's debut video, like full 20 minute video reviewing it. Yeah. Can't wait to see that. Unlikely. 